blogs from Job Controller. Okay. You take the job log that is in the Job Controller, right click on the job, you say View Logs. You will see the log files of that job. You can scroll up and down to see its content. View Logs from Backup History. You want to find View Job History. Select default options, hit OK. You will see the jobs listed. Right click on the job and say View Log. And you will see all the logs pertaining to this job. Now, these jobs are not sequenced, so you need to check individual log file name and then see for the errors that you want to look for. Now, if you can view all so that everything is in one single page, then you can see what you want. If you know which log to check on particular server, you can do that. For example, on the client, if I want to see logs, I can right click on that line, view log files. Here I will see all the uh, process logs so you can fill, pick whichever you want and then click open you will see uh, the logs pertaining to that process that is cvd in this case and you can click on view all again to see all the logs in one page and you can scroll down to the end to see the most current information you can see the com server logs as well right click on the com server log files selected you want to view click on open and then you can click on view all and then see everything in one page at the end you will find the latest information for the media agent as well you can view logs expand media agents go to the media agent right click log file view log and then you will see all the log files, select the one that you want and then click open. This is how you view logs from job controller, backup history, client, form server. Send log files. If you want to send log files for a particular job, say for example, the job in the job controller, right click on the job. And then say send log file. Now, on a send log files pop up window, you can just click on output and you can upload to FTP, email to email address, or you can save it to a folder on the com server. Job history jobs, right click on the client, view job history, the default, hit OK. Select the job, say right click, in the send log files window, you can click on output and you can upload logs or email logs or you can save it to folder. This is how you send log files for a job. Now how about if you want to send log files for a client, home server, media agent, or in a group. Right click on the client and then say on tasks send log files. So here if you click on computer stamp you see the client is selected and you can click on machine information you can pick these options which you want and then click on output tab these logs you can upload to FTP or Comwall to review the logs, or you can email and you can save it to folder on com server. You can send log files of media agent alone. Right click on media agent, log file, send logs. In a, on the send log files window, if you click on computers tab, you see 
the media item is already selected. You can click on machine information, select the options which you want, click on the output tab, and you can pick whichever way you want to save, send, or even blocks. Now, if you want to send log files to form one, we prefer to send form server, media item, and an affected client. So, right click on the form server, all tasks. Send log files, and if you have a ticket, open with COM1 and then put in the ticket number here. And in the computers tab, you can select COM server, client, media agent. And in the COM cell information, if you want to send database, you can set the mark for COM server database. And if you want to send database logs as well, you can put a tick mark next to database logs. And in the machine information, you can select all the options and you can click on output tab to either upload logs, save to folder, and then send it to com one via command line interface or explorer, whichever way is easily for you. I'll try to send log files from all the three clients. So, all that, send log files. I'll select com server client media agent. I don't want to send com server database. I click on machine information. Now I send com one logs. I send update information of the client, machine configuration, OS logs, which I'll show you in, in, in a while. If there are any crash terms like Dr. Watson. Uh, any run commands that I'll show you later what these run commands will get will fetch you in the in the logs. When I click on output, I save the folder, browse, I pick up a location, and then click OK. The log files are sent to the folder. Let's go to computer. See temp. And if I do the date modified, this is our latest logs. I extract it. And if I see these log files, I have log files from client and com server. Let's go to client. And extract the client logs. Now here you see all the common logs. These are process log, C0, DXC log, CL backup process log, file scan process log, see different logs, and you also have system information. If you want to know issue related to system that has caused the problem. If you don't have the server access, do not mind. You have the information in this particular cabinet file. So I extract it. If I go in this one, I see your application log, even your system log. This is the system configuration. And the run commands which we have selected is for next step port connection. If you open this one, you will know which IP. In listening state, is this established connection specific? And this is even your application on that particular server. This is a client. And we have the registry key information of Comwall. You can check if there is a key which can fix the issue that you have. The key is already there or not. You can verify the information from this place. 